Hello everybody and welcome once again to episode 2 of Galactic Science 2 and what back by Kathleen. So where was I? Just basically here on the end of the last series. So let's go and start the game again. And we need to basically get down to filling up our oxygen tank by the looks of it. Looking a bit empty. So we've got a full one here. Let's take that out of here and place this one from that and if I, in fact I'll take this one out of here and quickly refill this one so we don't have to wait too long make sure we're safe uh, and I'm going to put some of this stuff away so I was doing saplings wasn't I I'm also going to make sure I'm doing them the rock and sieving whatever we've got out of that what I didn't look at was moon dirt let's have a look at the east of the moon dirt for sieving I reckon that's the only thing we're going to get oh well I should also get some oil from moon dirt too Magna Crystal again, five milli buckets, not very much. Doesn't tell me that I can sift this. That's strange. Am I missing something? Okay, let's have a look. We've got moon turf, pieces of that. And that one we can do. What's that giving us? Vandalium. I don't know what that's used for. I'll have to look up and see what we can find the uses of that. Makes a floor. Not actually that much in the way of uses. A magna crystal. Enchantment. Ah, not telling me, that's strange. I'm going to wait for this for a few seconds. That's full. Let's put the other tank back in. Let's put this one back into my inventory here and have a look at what we've got going on in here we've got some more stuff let's sift the rest of this moon rock oh i know what's happened this sometimes happens when you start a game and the command you have to use is slash um i think it's empty reload that's it Okay, let's have a now try that again. I'm pretty certain that we could see uses of this before. Let's have a look. Yes, there we go. So we can sieve this and we get potatoes, uncompressed coal, and stone. Okay, and the other one was moon turf. I thought that was I thought I was going crazy. Oh now we get some ender pearl powder, some glowstone dust, some redstone, a fishing rod, and a small pile of gunpowder. Interesting. So let's shove the moon rock into there now. Okay, while that's doing that, it won't take very long. Let's come back here and take my tank back again. I'm not sure how we're doing with this stuff in here. Not very well at the moment. We've only got four pieces of wood. So I'm going to come back into here and get some more water in the meantime I'm going to put some of this stuff away I don't need these rods and I don't need that and I don't need any of this comp this uncompressed coal or stone so we will take some more of these we're going to take another probably four buckets I reckon it'll do we still have a reasonable supply of s snow for oxygen but let's quickly check that while I'm here so oh now this is full and this is also full and this one we got 45 so it the snow is going to last a reasonable amount of time so that's good now let's put this into here like that and that's the output so that's fine and let's put the rest of this snow into here which is of course is then getting fed straight away into here Maybe I should do more than what I've done. But we'll be cautious to start with. Yep, that's working away. It's just a nuisance I'm only getting one sapling. I could convert I can't convert these to to wood yet. The water's going up, which is great. We've got our sapling. 
fifth piece of wood, we need ten. So we've got to find another way of making this pytro grow, grow as well. Let's have a look at the recipe for that while we're waiting for this stuff to... Oh, wait. That's going to finish in a second. Oh, we've got two that time. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the recipes for this. Is that reward? A farm in a box. That's what we're going to get next. And we can make this with... What's that? Pulverized coal ink sack. We get one. Here we get 32. Polarized charcoal, saltpeter dust, and slag. Saltpeter dust. How do we get that? Nitra. Oh, we can't do that yet. Centrifuge it. Shapeless crafting or converter. Hmm. Do you know that's that one, wasn't it? What else do we have in here? Nitra. Yeah, I'm sure there should be a recipe for this. Well, how do we get slag from the induction smelter? We haven't got one of those yet either. Is there another way to get slag? Ah, we can get that by sieving moon rock. In fact, I should have seen some already. What's the chances? 3% is quite high. 0% for diamonds, quite rare. Induction smelter. So, where are we going to get nitra from? That's a bit strange. So it's not finished yet. Oh yes, it's just a, it's a gooey bug. This isn't it. So we've got eight now. But I will make the other two into into wood anyway. I mean the other four into wood. While that's doing that, let's go and put some more stuff into here. Let's go and get some glowstone. That would be a good start. So that was moon turf, wasn't it, and redstone. So we're getting plenty of little bits of gunpowder, ender pearls. Let's have a look what the uses for that are. We can make a wireless crafting. We can put them into the assembly table. Ah, oh, now this has gone down a bit. This is about a, a fraction of what it was. We can make some soup. We can convert it to ender pearl dust. Ender pearl dust. So we got uses for that one, or is it the same stuff as before? No, in fact, just this one with the, the end of pearl we put in the assembly table. Okay. And we've run out of power here. Why have we run out of power? Is it night time? It could well be night time. Nope, it's not night time. Now that is slightly, oh no, it's full of some interesting things going on here which I don't fully understand. We've got fishing rod, moon dirt. We want moon turf, don't we? Let's put that into there because we want some glowstone. Right, let's go back to our quest. This should be complete when we go to the right room. This should be complete now. So let's take, we've got five saplings this time, great. And four pieces of wood. Okay, so let's now go and check the quests. Where were we? Moon transfer. And I think we need to do this one. I'll call it timber. So we can now we can get some 10 rich pride to grow. That's good. For those 10 oak wood. And 32 oak wood smashing. So we can actually make stuff. What comes next? So now we get to, looks like potatoes. Wherever your life takes, to, takes you. So we've got to have 10 potatoes. And we'll get 10 steaks and one piece of snow. Well, that's quite nice. Let's, potatoes are going to happen the same way. So, But we probably could use the rich proto grow in this one. Let's try that. Ah, uh, water, of course. Yes. Let's get the tank again. Come back here. And to make some more snow. What have we got here? That's three. Let's take four again. In fact, there is snow outside, isn't there, as a last resort. Let's just see. Because we've got a diamond shovel here. And I think your shovel will be able to shovel up some of this uh, snow. 
Oh, it just disappeared then. Oh yes, let's look. What happens if I, let's just remove some of this as well, by the way, so we can get a bit of a... I guess we can see a bit more now about this one. Let's get rid of this. Ah, oh, yes. So we get more snow. We can get more snow, I think. Oops, that's very fast. So we have a way of getting snow in cases of emergency. And of course, the yes, we can do that as well. Okay, good. I'm going to have to use that as a as a means of getting water as well. I think because snowballs and snow should smelt up the same. Let's have a look. Put the tank on here like that. Let's put these snowballs into that. Yes, that's making water. It's probably not very much compared to this. 8,300, I think it was 6,000 before. Now, ordinary to torches don't work in galactic, so that's wrong room. So we're going to have to use um, glowstone torches. That was the standard in Galactic Science 1, and it's the same in this pack as well. So we should get more potatoes from this rich crow. Hopefully, that was why we got the reward. I'm taking a bit longer, I think. It's just a basic. It doesn't seem to have any augments possible on this one. Oh, we've got nine in one go. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's put one of those in there, like this. Put one of those there. We need ten, don't we, I think, was the quest. Yes. I will get ten steaks and one snow, which is great, because then we can eat. I'm not sure how many, how much health that gives us, but we'll find out. Three. Three potatoes. So now we've got our eleven, so we can complete that quest. Detect and submit. Claim the stuff. Done. Now, next one. Crucibles. Well, we all know how to make a crucible. Or should do. It's a fired crucible. Let's have a look at the recipe for crucibles. In fact, while I'm actually here. Now I've got some real food. I'm gonna eat some. We've got three heart three Got three food bars down, three and a bit. So now we're full. Good. That makes me feel a little bit more safer. So we put the snow up here. We don't need the snow. The potatoes. What can we do with the potatoes? The uses of potatoes. We can put that into a can of food. Fine. Macerate it. You need to check everything. A redstone furnace. A pulverizer makes mashed potatoes. Okay. Didn't know that one and we can do this as what we did last time so we did the rich proto and we had a, a six percent chance which is three times two that makes sense too that will make us hooch and we can put it into a barrel for composting into dirt or we can make some water potassium and some cellulose okay and then back to the workbench again for the Spawner controller. Sent a few recipes which you can't do, and we're back to the beginning again. Right. I think I would like to make some glowstone torches. But I ain't gonna make that one. I'm gonna make this one. It's a rootery born has a interesting flood light, this one. Basically it's just Ordinary torches with one glowstone will give me this. That's a pretty good recipe. So let's make some torches for the all. So that will make how many? It'll make six, eight. Eight of those. That's good. So this one here, I think we need ordinary coal. So the recipe for that, or the uses of this one, let's look at uses of that one. We'll make ordinary coal, which is fine, or we can use it as a fuel for one item. Convert it to one carbon. So I don't understand these en enchantments that don't work. So I'll make this. Click that. So we've got 19 coal now. 
So now we can put that over there like that and get eight torches. Oh, 32 torches, good. So now we can make this router reborn. Floodlight. In fact, I'm going to use um, four it'll make. Let's make four, all four. Did I make all four? Oh, because I've got the torches here. Like that. So these are actually don't need any power, they're great. So I'm going to go downstairs here. I probably should wait, make a weapon of some description. What can we make a weapon with? Stone, huh? We can make a stone sword fairly easily, I think. Let's get rid of those. In fact, while I'm here, let's get rid of some more of this stuff into here. Looking at my oxygen is okay. Oh, just fed that down. I didn't want to do that. I just fed that with a stone. And it's full. Let's remove the fishing rods. See, it's going really fast because I've fed it with a steak. And I really didn't want to do that. Never mind. Moon dirt. And as you can see, if you fill it with a steak, it does go really fast. And now it's back to normal speed. We've got plenty more stone. Stone ain't going to be a problem for the time being. And another fishing rod. I'm going to keep the fishing rod. And you'll see why later on. Let's put them. Let's put those out of here. I can't shift control shift click on this, which should be irritating. But we can make a quick sword, so we need some more sticks. Oh, I should might as well just do that like that, and then make a sword. I don't think we can make anything better at the moment. I will put these books in here too. I don't really need the books with me. And I'll keep the floodlights. I could do with a pickaxe. So let's make a pickaxe quickly as well. That'll do for now. I'm going to quickly go downstairs here. Oops, some more blaze rods. And the side I want to get rid of are the ones behind here and here. Have I got anything I can tread on? Yes, I've got some dirt. Let's put some dirt down here like this. And with a bit of luck, I'll be able to take this pickaxe here and just knock a hole in so I can do that one, no big deal. And let's put a, a floodlight here. As you see, that's suddenly made a bit big difference. I want to get that one over there. Let's see what we've got in this corner. There's a creeper and we're well, right, good. We'll bring the creeper forward. And a, and a skeleton That's, and a zombie, good. Right, that's super. A lot of mobs around here, it must be underneath, I think. So let's put another one down here. What was I doing? It's about this, this space here, wasn't it? Oop got attacked. Let's get out of the way and let him get shot. Thank you. About this I think we'll do for starters. Let's put one in here. Lights of this area quite nicely. Let's dig this back again. And let's move a little bit further forward because it's obviously dark. And if we press F3, we'll see what the light levels are. The light level is 6. You can see that just before it says LC 95B Moon BL 66. So it's 6, level 6. That's a good spawning area. So we don't want that really. Let's turn that off again. And it's actually the block we're standing on. So let's just dig that out of that. Put another one of these into here and dig this up. So we'll look at the level levels now. Should be a lot higher. I think this gives you 15. It does go up. And over here, as so long as it doesn't, yeah, seven, that's too dark. So I think around about here is probably good. I would like to get them lined up properly. You have to be on one block. Oops. Did he, oops, I pressed the wrong button. Where did he come from? 
How can you spawn this now? Right, got him. I think around about here should do the should be a good place for this. Let's put it in here like that. Like that. I can hear a spider. So what have we got for light levels now? 11, 12, 10, 8. So it's below 8 is when they spawn. So this corner should be lit, lit up well enough. And this is the one corner it can't reach. Look at this lot. But I'm a bit worried in case this thing runs out of power. There'll be lots of goodies down here. Uh, probably a few over here too. I'll take this block with me as well. And obviously here is going to be a lower light level, like level 5. I'm going to get some more of those, uh, those floodlights, I think. I was going to check this, wasn't I? What's the light level? Seven, uh, 740. It's still got a bit of more capacity. Yeah, it's not going down that fast. But my oxygen is. Let's go and get this another oxygen tank out of here. I'll do it like that. Always have the fullest one on the right hand side. So, what have we got here? Some more rotting flesh. 30 of them, that's quite a lot. Nine of those, no, a couple of arrows. Okay, good. In fact, let's put away this broken ore to start with. I don't need that with me. And let's. What else have we got to do? Let's check the quests now. Crucible, isn't it? So now to make a crucible, we need what do we need? Clay and bone meal. Now bone meal, let's have a look. How do we get bone meal? So the recipe for that. We can grind bones, that's normal. We'll get three from a shapeless crafting, four from macerators. Sagmill is the best one by the looks of it. And we can see uh, Moon rock. I thought have I got some then? It is quite rare. Seven. Oh perfect. It's exactly what we need for. So now got seven clay, seven porcelain. Together. Shapeless crafting, I think, doesn't matter where you put it. We get seven of these. One crucible. Now I need to cook the crucible. I wonder if we can fire that in a normal furnace. So have a look at the uses of that. Yes, we can smelt it in the normal furnace. So let's take some of this. Probably one will be sufficient. Because some things you can't smelt in this. In fact, there's quite a lot you can't smelt in this. So that did me 12. That's not so great. Um, crucible. So it looks like one of those will do the crucible. Great. I put the. I shall leave those out of there. We'll get a better way for doing this. Hopefully, this episode, I'll get rid of the debug as well. Okay, let's come back in here and see what we've got to do now. So let's detect that, and we get a bucket. Fantastic. Done. So now, heat it up. Can we do this one? We've got to make 16 cobblestone. Okay. I've done that one already, I'm sorry, let's try this one. I can't do that one yet. So I've got to make 16 cobblestone. Actually, I've used up the cobblestone in here, that's not very clever. Let's go and put some more moon dirt in here, that's first of all. I've got 37, that's not enough. Moon dirt's what we want. Gives you one for one, I think. 
and it gives you a coal. I think it gives you one and one and a chance of a potato. So that was another way of getting potatoes and didn't have to could have sieved moon dirt for quite a long time. So if I can get rid of these. So we need that'll do. Probably got enough stone now. Let's just have a look. It's just a four for these. I could have looked. That's 23. And detect. So now we get 64 cobblestone, 10 snow, and 10 keratin. It's not detecting that. I haven't, have I claimed it? That's a bit strange. Why is it not detecting this cobblestone? Oh, complete. But I can't, oh, choice reward. Okay. Now, let's have a look. Well, snow's no problem. Cobblestone's not such a problem. And keratin. I think we take the keratin one. So, I'm pretty sure you can find some harder matter was used for construction or similar. Time to analyze the matters. Now, keratin, I think, is the one that makes leather. Let me just have a quick look before I claim this reward. Yeah, this one here. And let's look for the usage of that by right-clicking it. Decomposing it, yes, that makes five leather, which is going to be almost essential I think and it's if we look at the five leather let's do that again one of those so let's look at the you see the recipe for that is very long so it's well worth taking the the keratin so we do that first of all oh, wrong button try that one claim it done so next one heat it up we've got to make a lava bucket so that's going to be fairly straightforward and you get two crucibles and one snow back now a lava bucket is made by putting cobblestone in a um, crucible over a heat source well we've got heat sources out here haven't we and by the looks of them they're fairly hot heat sources so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here like that you see you've got to watch it because if you probably put it down, one block around it gets set into fire. So let's take our 16 cobblestone, or 23 in this case, and then put that into here like this. Right click that into there, and it fills up. And that, I think, will make one bucket of cobblestone. In fact, what I want to do is I want to make a bit of protection around that, because it, it sets you on fire all the time, and if you forget, you get burnt up. So let's do that first of all. I'm going to make some sl stone slabs. Uh, probably be a good idea to make sure I've got plenty of stone first of all, wouldn't it? So let's go in back here and get some more moon turf into this sieve. Moon turf or moon dirt. So we've got some of those. And get rid of these as well. I can get rid of everything, thinking about or whatever I can carry. That's been busy again. Let's put this tiny stone in there and the tiny coal. Our one diamond gunpowder. This is gunpowder similar. You basically put these together like this and you get a full gunpowder. Now we've got 36. Some slag, that's good. Some mint because I dug up oh, the lights, wasn't it? Very clever to do like this. Got some more gunpowder. Put the mint away, which is just so just just a decorative block really. Doesn't have any more uses than that. I put these 64 proto grows away as well, and some broken iron ore. 
and we'll keep the rest of the stuff on us for the time being. We want to go make this bucket of lava, don't we? So while that's doing that, this is probably finished already. Yeah, it has. So let's make sure we put some more moon dirt into here. I'll come outside. I don't think it's night time. It's getting towards night time. And I didn't make the slabs. I was just going to put some slabs around here. What if we got 1250? So that's right click that. Now we've got our bucket. But while it's doing that, let's put some more lava into that. In fact, what you can do with this is you can extend these. And I might do that, but I've got a bucket with me, haven't I? So I probably can take the stuff away. So let's go back to the quest now and do our detect and submit. Which we can now claim our 10 snow and some more crystals, that's good. So the next thing, we've got two. So we've now got to think, breaking things down into elements is crucial for our survival. We better need more potent sources of matter. So we need to make some obsidian, one obsidian. Well, that's fairly straightforward, that's just one water bucket on top of a lava. Um, source. I'm just having a think. We need to make a stone barrel for that one. What's the other one we've got here? Three iron, three iron ingots. We'll get five iron ingots back. Okay, good. Before it's night time, we need to. When it gets to night time, we need to sleep because our power is all done by solar. At the moment. So what I'm going to do? Is I'm actually going to go down. Well, first of all. I'm going to make some more lamps, aren't I? Um, wood. Yes. That's not enough. I need close stone. No, I need ordinary torches, don't I? It'll give me 20 torches. I need 24. Well, 20 might do for to start with. So. We can do this in one corner, we can keep away from the other ones. So that was just, if I remember rightly, was like this. The one glowstone in the middle. That'll make two of those. So we need a block to stand on. We can use this one here. Moving things around a bit. In fact, what I do actually like is I always like my magnet over this side. Like that. Yeah, but the skeleton, there's a... Skeleton, yeah, skeletons and things, and it's not shooting them. Interesting. So I said I wanted another torch here, didn't I? Let's get my pick out. That's there already, number two. There is a diagonal. So I didn't put it in. It's very strange, it's actually the one I see. It's just, oh, they're actually there. Tell you what, I'll do. put this down there, move one block further forward. That's good, so now we've got safe area here. Let's just check the levels again. 11, 8, 9, 10. So this looks reasonably safe. And I'm going to go and do the same thing over here too. Oops, wrong place. Don't want that one. I'll pick it up. Pickaxe. Oh, that breaks very easily. Five. It's around about here. Okay. So, actually, they've um, dematerialized, haven't they? So these two corners are reasonably safe for the time being, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a lava flow. I think I want to do it around about here. So I'll start here. Now, nine. I know that the distance at this... Um, 
Blazing Pyrethium is 9 blocks. Oh, look at those guys. Let's just get them a bit nearer to me. Oops, he's not shooting at them. That's not good. Has that already run out of power? Hmm. In that case, we have a problem. So I'm going to have to do that over here. That'll, that'll spawn out there like that. So we can now get these two other crucibles. What I need to do is make some stone. So we can chuck this cobblestone into here, or some of it. Maybe I can make some stone in the standard furnace. Let's have a look. Because I need nine pieces of stone, because I need three stone slabs. Oh, that's working in this furnace, good. So I just need some more of that um, mini coals. That's plenty. Do you know, I'm looking at the time and my time has already run out. So, that means I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's going very fast actually the time. I didn't realise it was already 35 minutes. So until next time, bye for now.